Hi, I'm Pam Hiller, AccuQuilt's cutting expert. And I'm Erica Botker, AccuQuilt's creativity expert. All right, quilters, I love a good parade. And I love elephants. So today we've put together two of our very favorite things to create the go a parade of elephants table runner. Look at how cute it's this is. It's just adorable. It's a free pattern at AccuQuilt.com. This is a quick, fun, and super cute project that you could make in an afternoon. It's also perfect to have kids or maybe grandkids come help you cut out the elephant shapes. That's right, with the Go Elephant Family die. And let's take a look at it. It's got five distinct shapes. These would be so tedious to cut by hand and difficult. Um, we've got two sizes of elephants. We've got their little ears. Look at that. And we have got an eye that's gonna work with the larger one. Mm -hmm. And they're just so cute. So let's cut some elephants. Yes. Now we've already oh. pre-fused our cotton fabric. You can always you cut four layers. Now, Erica, these are directional. So if you want some going one way, then you would face it up or down. So okay. yeah, let's make them go in let's the opposite direction. Let's make them go in the opposite direction. So the big one. Yep. And then we've got a little tip we're gonna share with yes, you. So you're gonna we know wonder. there's other shapes over there. So just hold with us, okay? Yeah, you're gonna say, why, why are you not doing why that? Why are we not doing that? We are. Yep. So we're gonna use a six by 12 die board. It's gonna fit through all of our cutters. Right. And I think it's so fun, Erica, because you could cut elephants out of flannel or felt or craft foam. So I many mean, different things, wool. Right. Um, just so many different, you know, we've got cork. Right, and leather. I think it would Lots be really of fun. great fabrics. All right. All right, now our shapes are cut. Let's take a look at them. Now remember, we cut our one facing up, one facing down, so that we're gonna have look at these. different facing elephants. Now you're gonna say to us, uh, wait, Pam and Erica, you did not cut the ears and the eyes. Well, here's kind of our tip. What we're gonna do now is, since this fabric is already pre-fused, right. we don't wanna waste it. Exactly. So we're just gonna take and cut out some shapes, we can always do four. Yep. So here, let's do two of these. Okay. So what we're gonna do is just take this already pre-fused fabric and just use our scraps to cut out some ears. Here, we'll put some small ears here. Yeah. And let's do an eye. I'm fond of blue eyes. Blue eyes, yes. <laughs> all right. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> now, Erica, we talk about this all the time. You don't have to cut all of the shapes on the die board. Right. So we can just cut these shapes and then use a smaller mat. So that's kind of our little pro tip. Well, and here's our second pro tip right along that same route. Don't get rid of these pieces. You no. still have prime real estate there yes. to cut out. Pam and I save all of those pre-fused scraps. Mm -hmm. All right, let's take a look. Oh, there's our little eyeball. Look at how cute it's they are. It's just perfectly cute. And we've got some ears. Oh my gosh, these would be so hard to cut by hand, oh, wouldn't I they? Oh, I would never ever do it. So it's a good thing we now have a die for it. Okay. I'm and gonna, yep, and the ears We're go. gonna go opposite. Yep. Oh. With our ears. Here. I did Here, not. I've got. There we go. There we go. Ear. And now we have big ears. We've got big ears. There you go. There. Oh my gosh. I just These think are it's so cute. And again, a perfect project for kids. You could make them in different colors. Oh, you could, uh, you could so do a safari kind of theme for a room. Oh, you could. You could do it with. Uh, for a birthday party theme. You've mm -hmm. just got so many ideas. And think about our project dies. Oh, yeah. Just oh, them. like bibs and... Like bibs and burp, burp claws. claws. Yeah. yeah. All right. All right, well. Now, we also have another super cool slick trick that we're gonna show you. Yes, we do. And we're, now we're gonna talk about this border. So this border is made up of little one, one inch finish squares. Yes. So we're going to show you a really slick trick using our strip die. Right. So what I've done, I just rough cut two inches because we want to cut one and a half inch right. strips, right? So I just added a little bit of either side and you don't need very many. So I just have taken kind of some scraps that were left over. Okay. I'm going to put on a smaller mat. We don't have to use right. our big mat. Right. Because we're using scraps. Right. All right. 
Because in your quilting head, you're gonna say, ooh, I need to cut a whole bunch of tiny little squares here. This is so slick, wait yeah. till you see. And since in our border, we have these pairings. So now we've okay. cut our one and a half inch strips. Okay, so now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put right sides together and I'm gonna sew them together using a quarter inch seam. You can also use the same technique to make four patch blocks or even add another strip and make nine patch blocks. Right. Okay, so now what we've done is we've sewn these together. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our strip and we're gonna line it up right here at 90 degrees. We're gonna fan fold back and forth. Notice, Erica, that I did not press them open yet. Right. Okay. And we can always do six layers. Yes. So there's our six layers. And we're gonna do our same trick with the mat, right? Mm -hmm. okay. We are. We're gonna use just a smaller mat. I love the fact that we can use those smaller mats. We don't have to use our big 10 by 24 cutting mat. Sure. We're just full of tips and tricks we today, are aren't we? So good. Okay. All right, and now look at this quilters. Now we've made these little sections. So when you sew them together, they're gonna finish to one inch. Exactly. So you could do the blues as well. Now keep in mind that um, I would just only do the pinks. Oh, well, I guess you could do the blue and the white. Yeah. Because you just need four of those. Right. So when you're doing little borders like this that mm -hmm. just have squares that are have a pattern and go together, this is a super slick trick. And again, you could do this with for four patches too. And that way your seams are gonna nest right up and you're gonna have perfect little tiny four patches and everybody's gonna say, how did you do that so perfectly? With those tiny squares? With my strip die. There's a die for that. <laughs> All right, quilters. Now, since the elephant family die is an applique shape, you can find free embroidery downloads at AccuQuilt.com. So shall we look at them, Erica? Yes. So here is a sample of the satin stitch. Look at how cute this is. Here is the motif stitch. I like that one. And here is the blanket stitch. And we've put eyes on, on both the little, the baby and the mama. Yep, and notice Her here in our little project, um, they've used that blanket stitch. Yes. If you don't have an embroidery machine, it's okay. You can go just quilt over the top right. or do raw right. quilting. And if you want to, we have some four purchase embroidery files that is available true. on that our is website. True. Absolutely. So the, lots of ways that you can finish these shapes off. You could, if you didn't want, if you wanted to add dimension, you could use buttons. Oh yeah, for the that's eyes a cute too. idea. That's another idea. Now, if you're looking for other projects to make using this adorable die, think about pillows, bags, or totes. Or how about an elephant mobile for a baby's room? The creative possibilities are endless. Be sure and share your finished project with us on all of our social media platforms using hashtag AccuQuiltBuilt. Every day can be a parade when you use the Go Elephant Family Die because at AccuQuilt, we'll help you cut time so you can quilt more.